Uh, this will have law enforcement working hand in hand with substance use professionals to urge addicts to get help because, as they said, they will not arrest their way out of this problem. Well, the efforts are federally funded. They did get a grant for $1.2 million. And Chris Heron, a former basketball player for the Celtics and a Portsmouth, Rhode Island native, told his story of addiction. We'll have more on that coming up tonight on NBC10 News starting at 5. Live in Portsmouth, Lindsay Adeluka, NBC10 News. All right, Lindsay, thanks. It's day three in a new week for the school bus strike.